Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound. Welcome to this update on what's been coming in and out of my nail polish collection. This episode is for May and June. These are the rules that I'm trying to abide by this year. I have got a separate video on these if you would like to watch that. I'll put it in the description bar below. So starting off with what I purchased in May and I did buy the Hollow Taco Rock Candy Collection. I have got a swatch and review video on that one and that will be in the description bar below as well and I will link it at the end of this video. When this collection came out, a lot of people, including myself, were a little bit sad that there wasn't a proper orange. And I saw someone on Facebook post that they'd mixed some colours to create an orange. And I liked that one and one of the other colours that they created. So at the end of this video, as a little bonus, I've shown you how I mix these ones up to create an orange and a lovely lime green. So make sure you stick around to the end for that. In addition to those, I also bought one of the polishes from the Hollow Royalty Collection. These are limited edition, the Rock Candy are not. And the one that I picked up was Spyglass, which is a really pretty periwinkle blue in their Crush Hollow formula. I haven't worn this one yet, but I am looking forward to wearing it. So that's what came into my collection. So for the D-stashes, I'm going to summarize these as I have got separate videos for all of these as well. So I D-stashed five polishes during my blacks and multichrome video. From left to right, we've got Arda's Nails, I'm just gonna call it Nice Fish, uh, Color Club Beyond, Sunny Handsome Black Tie, Baroness X Fire Adjate, and KB Shimmer's Public Displays of Confection. Then from the first two of my pink D-stash videos, we've got from left to right, Barry M Candy Floss, Nails Inc Everyday Self Care, OPI Pinking of You, Barry M Dragon Fruit, Barry M Strawberry Ice Cream, hiding in the right hand corner just going out of shot, we have got Barry M's Cranberry, and then on the bottom row we've got Pretty Perfect Always and Princess Nail Lacquer Rose. So that's all the polishes that left my collection in May. And to summarise, I purchased eight polishes in total, D-stash 13, so that makes a net polish, a number of polishes out of my collection of five. Moving on to June, I purchased a couple of Orly polishes. Uh, the first one that I'm sure you'll probably recognise is Synthetic Symphony. And this is a polish that I had been debating getting on and off for a long time. Then I found out it wasn't going to be made anymore, so I managed to pick up a bottle. And whilst I was on the website, I saw this one that I'd seen on Krista's channel. And it's called Dancing Queen. It's a really pretty um, combination of colours of glitter with a little bit of um, holographic sparkle in there as well. I don't normally buy glitter polishes anymore, I find them too much of a faff to take off, um, but for this pretty colour combination I made an exception. And that's what that one will look like over a pale blue, which I thought was really really pretty. But as you can see it is quite glitter dense, so um, I wouldn't like that over a darker colour. So what I did is I made up a mix and diluted it 50% with base and that gives a little bit more of a subtle finish when you're putting it over a darker colour so it doesn't overpower that colour. Moving on to the polishes that I de-stashed and from the first de-stash video I had nine polishes in total and from left to right we have got OPI Silent Stars Go By, Emily Damali Limited Edition 163, Missouri's Cotton Candy, Zoya Lux, Nails Inc, Cherish in Chelsea, China Glaze Pom Pom, Femme Fatale, Red Eyed Scavengers, Barry M Pink Lux, and Barry M Pink Tourmaline. And I also decided to de-stash Arda's Nails Tata for now from my summer nail polish rack. So in summary, we have two nail polishes purchased in June and 10 de-stashed, which makes a net number of polishes out of my collection of eight. 
So in summary for the first half of 2024, I have purchased 27 nail polishes, I have de stash or finish 62, I have corrected this number from previous videos because I noticed an error in my calculations, but I still have 35 less polishes in my nail polish, polish collection than I did at the beginning of the year. As for the budget, I had £300 in total at the beginning of the year. I started May with £159. In May I spent £87.90. In June I spent £17.88, which means I've got £53.22 left for the rest of the year. So that's going to be interesting. Here are all the polishes that have left my collection in the last couple of months. Now, as promised, here's that bonus content of me mixing some of my Hollow Taco Rock Candy polishes. And we're starting off with mixing the orange. And for that, I used Jam Session. And I mixed it with the one that was listed as being an orange, but for me, this is more of a yellow and it's called Sunshine Crush. And I'm using these little 5ml bottles to mix into with roughly a 50-50 mix of the two polishes in the bottle. So whilst that one was on my mixer, I got on with the other one. And for this one I used the green from the original collection. This one's called Sour Note and is a real sort of bright grassy green. And again I used Sunshine Crush, also in about a 50-50 mix of the two polishes. After a lot of shaking, this is what the orange came out like. It still doesn't look quite mixed on the outside of the bottle, but inside it's absolutely fine. It's very, very pretty, and you can see the pink shimmer coming through nicely. A little bit difficult to get a decent swatch with these tiny little bottles and, and brushes, but it did go on fairly easily and smoothly. And 
this is what it looked like even before a top coat very very pretty and you can see that pink shimmer in it as well and this is what the green look like I really love the look of this one you can see the pink shimmer in this one as well and this is what it looks like swatched I really like this color I think it's ever so pretty also you mix two polishes with a good formula you get a polish with a good formula who knew and that's what this one looks like without a top coat so these are the two polishes that I mixed I really really like them and I am planning on buying some extra bottles of the originals so that I can mix full-sized versions of these and when I looked at the green Franken polish it reminded me a lot of full charge um, so here's a little comparison for you um, it's very similar in base color of course it does have the pink shimmer which full charge doesn't and the crushed hollow formula as opposed to the plain linear formula but full charge is no longer available so I thought I'd pop in this comparison in case you were interested in buying these polishes and mixing them to create a sort of a dupe thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you in my next one bye